Hey guys, Airsoft Al here. Well, today I've got a fun little video for you. Uh, I was out town yesterday, out to go see the Fate of the Furious, which is basically Fast and Furious 8, which, eh, I mean, it's a popcorn flick. Either way, though, I thought I'd go ahead and show you my haul, because apparently these haul videos are getting lots of views. I don't know why. But I did go out to the local Goodwill, and I did find some really good finds, uh, and some really cool ones. So, the first big one I want to show off that I got is, of course, the Busby Tech 10 for $3.99. This sucker, I'm not sure if this is still, this is a vintage blaster, because I know this was, uh, at least a good long while ago. Uh, this, this has the 2005 trademark on it, and it needs some heavy modded modding, like, no joke, the barrels, uh, they, they slice through the streamlined darts because of how thick they are, it's just, mm, it needs work, it needs a lot of love and work into it, and I just, I just love the look of it, it's, a, it's one of those evil looking blasters, it looks like one of Stitch's blasters from Lilo and Stitch, it really does, anyway, so thing on off to the side, next up, of course, is the next purchase I got, which was the Busby Wizard, the Ultratech Wizard, uh, this sucker was two ninety nine and... It's a four-barrel shotgun, basically. There are shotgun mods for this thing, which I'm going to follow heavily. And I am just going to make this thing evil, because stock, for some reason... This one, in particular, though, might be a lemon. Uh, it doesn't want to fire all the darts, so it'll fire maybe one. And this barrel right here, so I'm probably just going to go in there, remove all the air restrictors, to just make this thing evil. Either way. The third one was, of course, the buzz... The... <laughs> Nerf Rebel Messenger Shot, I believe is the name of the blaster. It's basically just a triad in a pistol form, much like the uh, Luminati, um, <laughs> the Luminati blaster, which I have around here. I wish I knew where, so I could basically show you guys and compare it. Uh, I know I have it here somewhere. You know, I'm just going to jump cut to me having it. And here it is, basically the Luminati Luminati confirmed, and my rapid strike wants to try and fall down on me, I don't know why. <clears throat> Basically both blasters have the same profile, but one's a little bit thinner than the other one, but this one has that wicked freaking pistol cover, it's like, <laughs> smack, pistol whip someone. But the charging hand, but the pull keys are definitely the same, one's square, one's a teardrop style, which I do like, it's definitely a nice tit. One has dart storage, one is not, one's battery power, which would be nice to put a LED like laser thing in there, be like, Nee! Gotcha! But either way, uh, basically both are triads, just, uh, in a bigger pistol form. Uh, but one's kind of cool because you actually get to see the darts in there, which is very nice. But of course it has that old gimmick of the message thing, it's just, it, it's whatever really. So we'll set these off to the side. And then finally, the big one that I found, which, as we all know, these things are pretty expensive now. I know they're going down, but they're still pretty pricey is, of course, the Nerf Rapid Strike, the Halo MP5 Concoction Frankenstein Blaster Thingamajig. And I'm not gonna lie, I do love the feel of this blaster. I really do. It feels great. This cheek rest is actually really welcome comfort. Even though it's plastic, I'm probably gonna put some tape or something over it just to help with the comfortability. It's Even though I'm a larger person, uh, it definitely does feel good. It's comfortable. It has that... I love the thumb grip right here because it makes me... Because it reminisces of... Halo. The 10 round magazine did not come with it, of course. Uh, this is just me putting in because when I got this, it had no magazine. Uh, so it didn't have the drum mag, sadly. It's one of those things. Uh, I, I definitely love the feel of it. This sucker was $14.99 at, at my local Goodwill. Uh, while I was still out there, there was a, a old school single shot Busby snipe with the bipod that actually got into the grip. That sucker was like $5.99. I was so tempted to get it, but then I saw this, and I was like, oh, no, I'm getting this. Even though, that, even though the Busby Snipe is probably still out there, I'd recommend you guys go out to, to the Corinth Goodwill. Definitely grab that. That's some vintage goodness right there. And then, of course, they had the dart tag little Glock-looking thing, the little single shot, you know what I mean? Uh, can't remember what the name of it is. And it's just fun doing this because, oh, my God, that's just so fun. But, yeah, uh, that's my blaster so far. The only other thing I can say is that while I was out there, I went to GameStop, and I got... A, I got Rainbow Six Vegas 2 for my Xbox One because it's backwards compatible, so I might host some open lobbies on there, as well as Call of Duty 2 and a few other things. So if you guys can, definitely do grab some old school, some vintage goodness. Oh my god, this gun is just comfy as almighty. I can't help but just... Mm, Halo memories. Fond Halo memories because of this, this thumbstock and the way this is designed. Just... 
Oh, if it was only Bullpup, then that would make the memory complete and just be like, <laughs> Die, grunts! I'm gonna end the video here, because I'm already getting into that psychotic mode of me just loving it. Anyway, will I mod this one? No, because stock, it performs great, and really, we don't really have a lot of modded flywheel blasters in my group, in my nerf group. So, yeah. It's one of those things. But, either way. Hope you guys like this Goodwill haul video. If you guys did, let me know, and I'll see if I can't do another one in the near future when I get the money. And as always, I've been Airsoft Al, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time.